guys and welcome to what is a really nice day but it's a really nice day for everyone else but me because I'm off to work it kind of sucks because it's one of the nicest days we've had this week really and it's pretty warm except the wind is pretty bad like, it's only just calmed down again but when it picks up it proper blows and I can't see what's so that sun but yeah I've just looked at the weather forecast for the rest of the week tomorrow's going to be exactly the same as today Hopefully less windy, and Saturday's going to be the same as well. And I'm off Saturday, so is like Sean and Gareth, and Pitt's not as sure what he's doing just yet, so he's going to let me know soon. I think if he's off, we're going to go and travel somewhere. We're going to get a load of footage. If not, me, Sean, and Gareth will go somewhere and try and get some footage as well. Yeah, depending who's off is depending on where we go. If Pitt's is off, I think we can drive a bit further out. If it's just me, Sean, and Gareth, we can get the train somewhere. Just like Leeds or something, <laughs> check down to Leeds. Oops, Leeds, I don't know which way it is, but hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, the pits are driving and drive to Leeds. But we'll see, it all depends on uh, who's out because either way, we're going to go out and get some street footage. But depending who's out is depending where we go. Uh, but I won't really know more till like tomorrow night. But we'll see. And, and this wind is propped in my head. Hang on, I'm trying to wait for the wind to blow over. Yeah, sorry about that, I'm trying to like... It's just... It's... <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm hoping it calms down for the weekend because it's warm but the wind's just literally like... Blizzard. And I don't even think you can see me because there's sun behind me. But yeah, hopefully this wind stops for the weekend. Let me get to uh, actually ski in a decent day so we're trying to skate against the wind and uh, get blown everywhere but yeah like we were trying to say it all depends on who's out uh, on depending where we go because it's forecast a decent day so we will be skating somewhere it just depends on where we go because either way we're going to go and get some footage so I think Pitts was saying on the curb crusher chat he's going to lend Gareth the camera if he can't make it so he can film but like I say, depending who's at, depends where we really go. Like, we can get the train somewhere. If not, if, yeah, we can get the train somewhere, me, Sean and Gareth. If Pitts is not out, Pitts is out, I think more than likely we'll be uh, driving somewhere. But we see, I kind of want to go back to uh, Hull, to be honest with you. Because uh, we last time we went there, it was like miserable. Us. Remember, we ended up going to... Rock City because it was just raining all day and miserable. So hopefully, if it is a decent enough day, we can go back to uh, Hull. The only problem with Hull is it's literally on the coast and it'll be, uh, be constantly wet, especially this time of the year, unless it's like a really decent day. It's like even today, I reckon it would be too windy and wet just because of where it is. It's also, it all depends on uh, what's happening. So I'm going to give him a text tomorrow night and ask him uh, what he's doing. But for now, I'll have a full day at work ahead of me. Which I'm not looking forward to because I'm pretty tired. And the bit I'm not looking forward to is getting up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning after a full day today. So yesterday weren't too bad getting in late because I went up to like 9 or half 9. But tomorrow I'm up at 6. But like I said, the only benefit of going in early is finishing early. So yeah. Let's get to stay out of the way. Get tomorrow out of the way and then see what the plans are for the weekend. Oh, for well, there you guys, we're finally in work. I need to start getting ready and then start. So I will see you guys in about 10 hours time when I finish work because I've seen daylight once today and that's probably it. So I will see you guys in 10 hours time. Hey right, guys, finally finished work. I can't wait to get home and just literally get some sleep and back in first thing in the morning. So I'm just gonna. Literally straight in, food, edit the vlog, bed, and back up again at six. But at least when I finish tomorrow, I'm off Saturday, so it's not too bad. By the sounds things as well, Saturday, everybody's out. So hopefully it's a good day if it stays like that. For now, I just want to put myself on the street and hug. Just so I can literally get in and then get back up tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully. Everyone's out Saturday and it'll be a, a good day. And hopefully the weather stays pretty decent like it has been today. 
not really bothered what it does tomorrow because I'm off. Hopefully it is nice because I can fly the job once I get home. And it's Sunday, no, and it's Saturday, but everyone's going to skate. So we'll see. And I'm going to take the drone with me as well, Saturday. Just for wherever we end up, I fly the drone. Just now because it fits so perfectly in my rucksack. But yeah, just want to say as well, word of advice, if you are going to sell a drone for parts on eBay, don't, because all afternoon I keep getting messages off my brother for what my dad's being asked on eBay for the drone, about the drone. And it's really, really annoying. It's for me, for my brother, and for my dad, because we're just constantly getting pestered with questions about what's wrong with it because it's broke. So yeah, it is pretty. But yeah, I'm going to hurry up now though and get on this train. And uh, hopefully it's not as busy because my boat is this week for sure. Alright guys, well I've just been informed, or I was informed at work, that it's Lent. Which I have no idea what it is, I just know you have to give something up for like a certain amount of days. And I've just googled it now on the tram, and you have to give something up from the 14th of February, so Valentine's Day, to the 29th. Of so yeah, you have to give something up until from the 4th of February to the 29th of March. And I'm going to give up like drinking, like no alcohol at all, until the 29th of March. Then probably after that as well, because I kind of just, like I explained a while ago, like, I was going to explain it when I feel ready and I feel a little bit ready to explain, but I've been down and depressed for like the past two, three weeks. Not as bad as like many people can get depressed, but I felt down and depressed and like every night after work I just went out and bought like bottles of beer, drunk them. The other night I drunk half a bottle of whiskey and made myself very ill, which is, it's just hard for me to say and literally just put out there for everyone to know, but yeah. It made me very ill Saturday, so I wasn't feeling very well all day because I just literally felt so rough. But yeah, I'm going to give up drinking alcohol for Lent, which is then going to push me to stop drinking altogether till I actually feel a lot, lot better now in this deep, dark hole I feel right now. Like I'm just depressed about a lot of things about life. Is literally, for me, it's just a complete circle. It's literally the same thing every day. My job a little bit is getting me down. Like I feel like I'm just stuck there so I'm going to kind of leave that a little bit. Hopefully after I get back from America I'll feel a lot better because the holiday is probably what I need. But after that I'm going to start looking probably for somewhere new to make myself feel a little bit better and get myself out of this rut. Because like I said I feel like I'm stuck in the same cycle every single day. But that's why I'm so grateful for the vlogs because I can express myself and it makes me feel so much better. That's why I kind of thank you guys so much for But yeah. That's kind of a little bit of what's wrong. I've just felt so depressed for so long now. So yeah, I'm gonna give up alcohol for next, I think four or five weeks, and then hopefully it'll help me push myself onwards to give it up for a lot longer. And hopefully I feel a lot, lot better. And then when I start feeling a little, little less depressed, uh, it'll be a lot better. But only thing that can push me through that is myself. So like I'm gonna say, America's gonna make me feel a lot better. I need a break and then when I get back I'm going to start pushing myself to find somewhere new and then everything else it's literally now up to me but like I said I want to thank you guys for being able to express myself right on the vlogs because it actually makes me feel a lot better but for now I'm eating my sandwich and get on this train because I'm but I do quickly want to say as well like if you guys are giving anything up for Lent let me know in the comments Below, because like I say, I'm getting up alcohol. Uh, so like I say, if you guys or anybody's giving anything up, just put it in the comments below. I'll try and put one of those four things up as well. Like I don't know what they are, like polls to just in the corner. I don't know what they are. Just to like, I think you can comment on them as well. Like what you're giving up for Lent. I'm not really sure how they work. I'll figure it out later. If it's not there, I didn't figure it out. But yeah, just comment below what you guys are giving up as well. If you're giving anything. Well, I'm finally. Finally home. I just did the most random thing while walking up. Kind of got over paying attention a little bit. But I just walked past. I, I'm guessing they were foxes because they can't build wolves. They live in like mountains, I think. I'm not really sure. But I walked past two foxes, literally just went straight in front of me. Shame it was dark because I would have been vlogging it otherwise and you probably would have seen. But yeah, they were kind of spooky. I'm not sure if foxes attack or not. I think they just do it in packs, I'm not really sure. But 
For now, I'm gonna get around to editing the vlog. And then I get some sleep, ready to be up again early in the morning. So thanks again for watching guys, I will see you tomorrow as always.